Hi guys, in this video, we are looking at this revolution diagram, which shows the Earth at four different positions as it revolves or goes around the sun. We now know that each of these positions represents a different season. Let's analyze this diagram and try to figure out which letter position represents which season. Whenever you see a diagram like this and you need to figure out the season, you always want to start by identifying either winter or summer because you can analyze the tilt diagram and see where the northern hemisphere is pointing. Let's start here with position A. If we look at position A and we find the North Pole, we can see that the North Pole is tilted away from the sun. We can also look at the shading in the diagram, and by looking at the shading, we see that the North Pole is in total darkness. So let's write this down near position A. We're going to write North Pole tilted away and total darkness, North Pole So because the North Pole is tilted away and the North Pole is in total darkness, we now know this must be winter. If I go ahead and move across to position C, I can look again at the North Pole. This time I see that the North Pole is tilted toward the sun. I can also see that the North Pole is in total daylight. Total daylight. Twenty-four hours of daylight at the North Pole. So because the North Pole is tilted toward the sun and the North Pole is in total daylight, I can tell that this here is summer. Position C is summer. Now that I've identified position A as winter and position C as summer, I can go back and look at B and D. B and D are tricky because they represent fall and spring, and these two seasons often have this, they always have the same characteristics, and they're not really tilted toward or away from the sun, they're just tilted off to the side, kind of parallel to the sun. So I can see on my diagram that my arrows are moving counterclockwise, so if position A is winter and position C is summer, in between winter and summer is spring. So position B must be spring. I keep moving around my diagram. Moving from C to D then must be position D must be fall. Please make sure you have this entire diagram drawn on a piece of paper or in your notes. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.